wonderful community of uh, my tablon and how, what is the secret behind your commitment your dedication your consistent action every single day you're highly effective in the social media and that's what most of the online entrepreneurs want to know now how can i really become successful in online space now to win this online space is pretty difficult like it's, it's vast it's it's massive and we need to take consistent action to get the visibility in the market it is it's not going to be an easy job and how did you win how did you really made a mark in this area so we want to know about you a little bit about your story how did what was the idea behind the mitra blonde and where you started and where you are now and where you are heading to so over to you farooqsi and thank you so much let me just go live in youtube then we are good to go so yes one right okay i have a little bit technical difficulty to go live that's fine you can start the conversation in between i can go ahead and you know set up this one go ahead farooq okay you are not a co-host okay now you're a co-host you can unmute yourself am i audible loud and clear go ahead wonderful wonderful thank you so much hi everybody uh, thank you so much festival for uh, inviting me to this amazing beautiful community i see a lot of not a lot of almost all new faces here for the first time uh, i would like to say hi to everybody uh, thank you for being here uh, i am uh, very energetic this time to share what what we are doing and how actually uh, we can help the community further uh i would just introduce myself about very short uh i have uh, like uh, been a digital marketer for some time uh then by chance i focused my my attention towards b2b community that is business to business community now any person any company any business owner that is serving businesses is what we help so any anyone among you who who belongs to that kind of community is what can who is he is the one who can get the most benefit of the community we are creating uh so now uh uh over to uh, like like if if there are any questions i should answer or if you i i should share something myself yeah then so i'm open to know about how did you able to start your own business you know most of the people here either they are entrepreneurs or they want to start their own business so this two question if you can address what was the idea behind the mitra blonde how did you evolve and how did you create this massive community how did you attract this big chunk of people to come towards you and support you being in this journey that's one and the second thing is the people who are want to start their own business online business you know how can we start on business and how can you become successful in the online space now mostly mm -hmm. the people in our community is that side go ahead so i would i would i would like to answer your second question first uh to start anything there is just one step that is required and that is to take a step to take an initiative that is very important everybody knows it that there has to be an initiative which has to be taken guys now uh, i'm i'm going to uh, tell you something very very important uh, i did not know it i read it somewhere then i applied it i would share that that particular very important thing with you as well uh we have a brain everybody has a brain and normally we have a brain we believe that brain is responsible to make us successful unfortunately that's not true that's perfectly not true our brain job is not to make us successful our brain job is to keep us protected to make us secure this is your brain this is my brain everyone brains is doing one and only simple job that is to protect yourself for example if you go to a networking event you would see uh, most of the people will be like like sitting like this this is a defensive mode it means you are into a new environment i do networking a lot and i see a lot of people are sitting like this it means that your brain is keeping you secure in that unknown environment so first of all if you want to become an entrepreneur entrepreneur you want to start a business you have to go a bit against your mind you have to do it you have to that is called a gut feeling that is called a passion this is where you start something so first step to start something uh, new 
is to don't listen to your mind, listen to your heart. This is a very, very, very important tip I can share. And I have tried it like a couple of times. Uh, this is, Tablon is not the first business I started. I have started like many other businesses. Uh, second thing I would like to share, if you believe that your first business is going to be a successful thing, I'm so sorry, I'm going to break this thing for you. Probably first time there will be like, like you're like a kid. Everybody is like a kid. Business is like, a, like you're, you're starting your journey for the first time. You will take one step and you will fall again. Second step, third step, fall again. So after a couple of falls, you will learn how to move on. So these two things I would, I would like to share. Very simple, very short. Listen to your guts. Listen to your own intuitions. Listen to your passion. And be ready for falling. This is, this is something I would like to share. This is the question uh, answer for the, for the second question. Now, how to, how to become successful? This is another very important thing. Uh, becoming successful, again, I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert here and I believe nobody's expert in that domain. There is only one person who decides what, what you should do and that is you. So in that case, if you want to become a successful person, if you want to succeed, then there is just one tip. You have to learn from your own mistakes. Many entrepreneurs are there, many speakers are there, many motivational guys are there. Everybody is to support you, but it's you who is going to take the decision. So if you want to succeed, the only thing you can do is to learn from your mistake and don't repeat those mistakes again. This is absolutely what the kids do. Kids start walking, they fall, then start walking, then they fall, then start walking, then because they learn. So this is, this is something which make you success, make, may, makes you successful. The third thing and last thing I would like to share to become successful is to stick to one thing. Uh, don't change path. A lot of people I, I see, for example, let me just show you one important story, one funny story in COVID. Uh, COVID came in and everybody was doing business. I was doing business. A lot of other people were doing business. So if you, if you ask somebody uh, who is a digital marketer, what do you do? I'm selling masks. If you ask somebody who is, who is into interior business, what are you doing? I'm selling masks. If you ask somebody who's into technology, what you're doing, I'm selling masks. So every, every person actually changed, divert, div, diverted their own path. Don't do that. It will only hurt you. And those are the people I know who have actually, whatever they invested, they lost everything. So three things I've, I've shared, take a first step, be ready for the failures and learn from your own mistakes. Guides will be there. People will be there, Faisal, like people like Faisal and many people he invite, those people will be there, but ultimately it's going to be your decision and you don't change the path in life. Yes. So beautifully answered, um, you know, don't change your path and the way you deal with the networking event, that's, it's a massive idea. So now I want a little bit about the Tablon. What Tablon do my Tablon do and how did you evolve that idea and a little bit about you know, where, where Tablon is heading to. Give, give a little bit about Tablon, please. Right. So, uh, Faisal, Tablon community is a community that, help business, that helps business owners connect with business owners. Honestly, if I say that this was my very wonderful idea, I, I, this was fallen from the heaven and it, was, it went to my head, nothing happened like that. Most people believe that this is, this is happening in, in others' life. It doesn't happen. I'm not sure if anybody has got their, this, this much power, but I did not get this. The only thing I wanted to achieve in life after like failing for a lot of years, I wanted to become the sales arm of businesses. And this is why, this is where I came to Dubai. Uh, I was doing a job in Saudi Arabia and uh, I went to my boss and I said, uh, sir, I want to be in sales, like hardcore sales on the field. It was like 2015 uh, when I joined a new company and 2019, I went to my boss and said, I want to uh, be on the field for the sales. He said, why? Because I said, I love meeting new people. I love meeting clients on the ground. He said, Farooq, you know, sales is all about connections and you are just a computer guy, computer geek. I was a business analyst. I was analyzing all the businesses on big Excel files and like thousands of inquiries and coming and going. So I said, I want to be on the field. He said, you don't have any questions, connections. So unfortunately, we cannot send you on the field. Uh, I felt it from my heart. I said, Farooq, you have to do it. So I thought, I thought, okay, if I have to do it, maybe I have to create my own path. And this is where I left my job. I came to Saudi Arabia. Uh, from Saudi Arabia, I came to Dubai. This is 2019 and 2019 was ending. And this is where I, I started to uh, achieve the goal. And that is to become the sales arm of businesses. Now sales is a very big domain. 
I came here, I could not sell, honestly. Like everybody for three months, one, two, three, I could not sell anything. Even a single dirham business, I could not sell. Then I found why it's not selling at all. What is the reason? And where I, I discovered five pillars of sales. I will share if we have that time. I will share those, those five pillars as well. So I found if you want to sell, my boss was absolutely right. The first thing you need is connections. We represent those connections with Thump. If you see a lot of our pictures from the events, most of the people will be doing this. We represent connections. This represent connections. So if you want to sell, you need connections. And this is why I, I, I started building the network, which is called Tablon. Now, Tablon is a network of business owners to build connections. We invite people to come there, meet other business owners, make connections, exchange business cards. And this is how you start your journey. So if somebody from your side is looking to start a business in Dubai, I believe this is the ideal platform. And not just this one. There are a lot of other platforms as well, which you can join. And this is, this is how, uh, Faisal, we started Tablon. Tablon actually came from uh, the, the idea of building connections. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. So you, you spoke about your journey and you spoke about, you know, uh, the, and you said something in between, you know, the struggles you went through before you, you know, created my Tablon and the success story. We want to know, you know, most of the entrepreneurs or the people who's going to be entrepreneurs, they are worried about the failure. How can I go, how can I face the challenges? How can I, how can I, you know, spend money on my business and become successful at my work? Can I save, you know, stay in my comfort zone and, and get my monthly paycheck? Or should I really take that step and take that risk to become an entrepreneur and fail or win, you know? And there are stories around, like, most of the startup fail, you know, and only few of them really sustain in the market. And how did you manage your fail? You know, what was your state of mind? How was your, you know, people around you supported you, uplifted you, or about your family? You know, did you manage those moments? So you want to know the failure stories. How did you manage? Very important question. Very, very, very important question. And I know you, I, I'm, I'm sure most of you people know the answer already. But I'm, I'm again sharing the same thing. Uh, failures are going to happen and how you can actually sail through those failures. There is just one thing. There is just one thing that can help you survive. And it is called your passion. Most of the people start their business because they are inspired by other businesses. For example, let me give you an example of Facebook. I'm not sure who was, who know Facebook and Facebook came in. Uh, what happened? A lot of companies started, build, started building Facebook, even uh, uh, somebody, some, 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 some of some of Zuckerberg's friends uh, started another company that is called the College Book. He started the Facebook. It was not Facebook.com. It was the Facebook.com, and they started the College Book.com, and it was very successful, by the way, on on the other side of, of US. And we don't know where is this the College Book.com is now, right? When Uber came, and a lot of companies, even I'm 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 from Pakistan, a lot of companies in Pakistan started something. Uh, like Muslims connect, like this connect, that connect, that book, flunny book, et cetera, et cetera. You name and that person will be, that domain will be registered with the book. Every company managed. Second example, Uber. If we talk about Uber, many companies, even now, a lot of, I, I get a lot of calls that Farooq, we are looking to build something like Uber. I'm not sure if there is another company, uh, except Kareem. Kareem did a very, very good job. So don't be inspired by somebody else idea it's you and you are unique you're very very unique and god has created you for a purpose find that purpose don't settle and if you ask me a question Farooq, hi how people can find that purpose now this is very very important if you want to find your purpose please don't believe it will come easy no not at all why because we live in a very very complex world in this complex world things are not easy things are have become very complex now, from that complex things, how we can pick something which we love is I'm giving you one, one very beautiful example. Somebody gave me and I'm giving it to you. Finding your purpose, finding your passion is like tasting a new dish into a buffet. If I leave you into a buffet where like hundred, hundred of unknown dishes are there, how would you decide that which dish you want to like, like eat for long? You will taste. You will taste every dish. So entrepreneurship exactly like this. Let some idea come. Don't be inspired. First of all, don't be inspired that other people are eating that dish. I should eat that dish as well. Maybe they are from another other 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 uh, nations 
who don't share your your same food so taste keep tasting give it some time give it your money buy that food taste it if you like it continue if you don't please so this is how you have to find your purpose and average if you are looking for far faruk how much average time it it takes to find a purpose please bear with me it takes like i have done a study it takes like 2 to 3 years not not earlier than that if you get something earlier than that thumbs up i i i i took like 9 years to find my purpose there is another journey 9 years journey there is another journey which may be discussed another time yes sir that's amazing thank you so much for telling uh, this journey you have and finding your own passion finding your own purpose you know that's massive and the other question i asked like there are people out there you know they are in they are in their paycheck even now and they have they don't they don't have that courage to take that decision to become an entrepreneur so what advice you can give to people who is someone is trying to become an entrepreneur uh fasil uh you know uh again uh, the answer of this question is not nice i'm sorry this is uh i found i figured out uh that every person in the world has a purpose every person you me everybody everybody in the world 7.3 billion people have a unique purpose which is not matched like our thumbprint which is not matching with an, any other purpose any other purpose in the world but every purpose may or may not be for a business so you have to find out and you will tell yourself that you are a business person or not when i say i i i i give 9 years you know i started my first business uh i got my engineering i did my engineering in 2007 and this is very interesting by the way i got my engineering 2007 and after 2007 i did my first business and it became successful within 2 years i i i was actually earning a lot of money the only purpose of starting that business was to earn money so i left it for one for some reasons in 2011 if you if you just go to my linkedin page you will see my career started with uh, maxstat engineering uh 2007 to 2011 after 11 there is a gap that gap is where i went in jungle to find the purpose literally like 6 months i spent my my, my time in jungles so to just to be alone to focus on life so the people who are having the paycheck they want to start their journey guys first of all you have to start small give it a shot at try if you can afford like like for example you say i can afford 1000 dirhams or uh Five thousand rupees or ten thousand rupees. Spend fifteen thousand. Spend twelve hundred dollars, twelve hundred dirhams on on that particular thing. A little extra. So you may feel a bit pain as well. Give it a try. Try something and see if it works for you. If you like it. If this is exactly the dish you want to taste. So this is how you. But you have to step out of your comfort zone. You cannot achieve your passion, your purpose in your comfort zone. But the reward is bigger. Reward is massive. Focus on the reward. I'll 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 share one more thing, Faisal. I'm no I'm I'm I know you're ready for the next question. I'll share one thing. I uh, forgot the name of the speaker. He says that whenever you are the people who are skiing, they ski so fast. You just YouTube or go on YouTube, uh, find some skiing video, and you will see people ski so fast. Somebody asked a ski person, "How do you ski so fast?" He said, "I always look at the path. I don't look at the trees." i don't look at the problems i look at the path so if you want to be successful you have to look at your path problems will come problems will definitely come and you can avoid it uh somebody if you know who 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 tried cycling please raise your hands who tried cycling in in the very childhood i tried my cycling and i'll i'll share one story when you start cycling and you focus on a problem you focus on a hurdle your cycle is diverted to that that hurdle automatically even you're not thinking of it right i'm not sure with how many people it happened but happened it happened with me and it happened drastically there was somebody uh, was cooking and there is there is a fire and i was seeing that i have to just get myself away from the fire and the cycle was just went into that part and bang and i i i got my leg burned and this is a very hard lesson i learned so focus on the path don't focus on the problems all right that's very inspiring you know starting on business on 2009 and you know and got a break and you went to jungle and finding a purpose it's crazy right you know what is the success behind his success <laughs> the secret behind his success is nothing but he is a born entrepreneur and he created 
kind of a you know deep question inside him ask the inside him that i really want to find out what i really want to in my rest of my life that's one of the secret we can learn from him and second thing i got it from him was you know go and get the things done until you win you know so thank you so much farooq you know is living there in some time in saudi arabia and come back to dubai and started a new business what about your your family support i want to know most of the people you know want to know about and i mean including me like when i started my own business it it was it was a red signal from all around you know i was working for a you know multinational company i quit the job and i said i'm going for an entrepreneurship what you know that was my whole <laughs> so my green signal from my side so how did you manage that part now are you married by the way you know you're so young i don't know whether you're married uh, good to know about you and you know what was the support from your parents and your fam- people around you uh fasal this is uh, another interesting question i'm i'm very happy that you're asking very pinpoint pinpoint good questions uh family support is very important guys if you have a family uh, it's really important especially if you're married uh when i started my first uh, you know i'm coming from a humble family uh, uh my parents gave a lot of money to engineering universities to uh, uh, get my engineering degree done and after my engineering i started my business and my family was not happy my mother was for you have to invest some money at home back this this is how it started and i thought mom i i have to i have to do my business so please leave me for some time and it was not nice now i think but yes i did it so if you start want to start a business you have to your family support has to be there but if your family support is not there even then uh, it's you have to take a step it's the price you are going to pay uh, first time uh, my mom then supported me a lot after 6 months th- when she realized that farooq is very committed he is not listening at all so she started actually supporting me and uh, she actually invested money again into my business as well she was the first an- angel investor to my business so people see if you are committed to your journey second time when i uh, was living saudi arabia i was living with my family my wife my three kids my youngest kid was just one year old and i had a dialogue with my wife when my boss told that for i you cannot be on the field and i had an idea to start a business and i had a dialogue with my life wife and it went on for just 3 months every night i'm coming back home dial keeping the dialogue open so after a while she got agreed okay for because the dialogue is you go to pakistan i go to dubai and we are going to be separated for 6 months that's it by the way i knew it's not going to be 6 months so i sent her pakistan i came to dubai it was a hard time very hard time and fasal this is the price you have to pay it's not easy uh, and and honestly i was thinking why nature gives you that those big 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 challenges because this journey is i believe this is this journey is very important this journey is going to be supporting a lot of other families a lot of other entrepreneurs a lot of other businesses every business even google facebook big businesses we talk about big businesses it was not easy why because nature wants to filter those people who are not committed to to their mission so if you want to become successful you want to become big nature will test you and if you if you if you read bhagavad gita or quran or or or, or bible there are a lot of challenges on on the prophets as well a lot of challenges why and i kept thinking about this this question because nature wants to test you first that you are the right person for this job so you have to take this challenge whether your family supports you or not you have to make them support you number one secondly this is this is very important disasters will happen you should get ready for it this is the price guys you you pay. i'm not scaring you i'm honestly i'm not scaring you i'm just getting you ready for what is going to happen so this this is something very 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 true i am just a lot of people say me farooq you just tell everything opposite to the others this is going to be very smooth very easy a lot of money is coming every every every, every day there is the, there is a new growth increase it will it will definitely it will the reward is like here but how slowly and gradually so family support is important you have to make it happen just last thing fasal i would like to share i was uh, sorry the, the the book's name is not very nice how not to fuck is is the book's name and i read one paragraph there uh it's very very nice paragraph amazing paragraph it said when you don't reach your goals many people will say it's family it's community it's politics it's government 
it's country, it's procrastination or X, Y, Z. But the truth is a lot simpler than that. If you don't get anything, this is, so you should write these in somewhere in the wall. I have written it on the wall, by the way. If you don't get anything, you simply didn't want it. So if you're not getting something in life, it means somewhere inside you, consciously or subconsciously, you're not ready for it. It's you who get the things done. So if you don't, if you don't get it, you don't want it. Isn't it amazing and powerful? If you don't want it, if you don't get it, you don't want it. That's it. No, guys, that's what I learned from this, my journey. You know, we will keep pushing, keep, you know, keep standing for each other to win. And that is the reason we could able to sit together and listening this wonderful hearing from Farooq. And the next question, you know, when a company started, when you started hiring people, getting the right people on board is one of the biggest challenge. And how do you get the right people into the company, especially for the startup? You know, the people in this room, most of them are either they are startup people or they started small company and they're look, they, they want to invest in people and they're afraid of hiring the right people. And is it the technical school you look at people or are you somebody who look for the attitude, right attitude? So ca how can you hire the right people for the company? Amazing question, Faisal, amazing question. Uh, guys, uh, big journeys are not cannot be one alone. There's no bigger company, big company, who is, who is just the owner or the founder. Every company has a team and team is very, very important. Now, how you decide your team is on you. I can, I can share my thing. Every, every decision can be depending upon the kind of owner you are. So I can share my experience. Definitely, I don't look for skills. I, I prefer freshers. I work with freshers very, very much. And it's, it's, I always look for people who are fresh. I just look for one thing and that is called trust. Whenever, whenever I'm hiring one guy or, or a lady or a boy, I just ask one thing, can I trust this guy? Can he, can he uh, like accept whatever mistakes he's going to make? And can he deliver what he's going to say, right? So these two things I ask and I ask this, this same question with the person. Now after like I have hired like in my whole business, I've hired like more than 100, 100 people somewhere like six people. My first business got like a team of 42. It was my first business. So I have learned just one thing. It's not skills. Skills can be trained. Now we are living in, 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 in a life where our schools teach us, if you get the skills, you will get the job. This is going to change. First of all, education is not, I never see an education degree. What degree you get? I never ask. I ask, yes, what is your attitude? I see it, I test it. Secondly, yes, I ask for the skills as well. So if it's a skillful job, I ask for the skills, but attitude is fun one. Second question, uh, I'm not sure how many of you have started a business and how many of you are hiring a lot of people. You should not hire anybody unless you define a particular role for that person. It has to come organic. Don't go inorganic, don't push it. Especially startups. No startup in the world should push for hiring people. No startup at all. Do it yourself unless it becomes above your level and you, somebody asks you, Farooq, why don't you hire somebody? And this is where you should hire somebody and go for the attitude, not for the skills. That's awesome. Great. Creating, finding the people with the trust and getting right people with the right attitude. Now that's the answer. Thank you so much, Farooq. And the second thing is most of the startups struggle with the fund. And how do we find funds or how do we raise the fund and you said about that mom's little bit in saving was my first you know angel investment and how do you really get your first round of funds or second round of fund how do you how do you reach out to that level right uh thank you Faisal. you're asking very 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 pinpoint questions very nice questions uh funding is very important for you this is a fuel this is a fuel for your car this is a fuel for your vehicle. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm running a community of having like 60,000 plus members now. Uh, this is a very active community and uh, I get a lot of requests. Most of the requests come for the funds. Most, most of the requests. Farooq, I, I have a brilliant idea. I'm looking for funding. You know what first question I ask? Somebody can guess. Okay. Uh, yes, Vessel. Yeah, the first question you ask somebody who is asking for funding, funding. Could ask, like, why can't you 
get a bank loan? Or why can't you take it from your home? Why can't you take it from your friends? Right. Or why can't you, you know, go around and talk to people with your ideas and, you know, get your first initial small fund from people around you? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. First question I ask is how much money you have invested? Second question, how much time you have invested? If the time is less than two years, I say, I'm so sorry, I cannot be, I'm, I'm not able to help. It's not me who is not able to help. These are the venture capitalists who are sitting out there with the money. And guys, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing one secret of funding with you. People believe that these, these are the funds who are not available. Wrong. I see companies begging me, Faru, give me a company who needs investment, who needs fund. But these are the investable companies who are not there. So investment is not a problem. Investable companies is a problem. So first of all, my question is how many much money you have invested? Number one. Number two, how much invested, how much money your friends, your family have invested? Number three, how much money you have your acquaintances, people you know, not friends, not family, other people you know, not very much, how much money they have invested? And if the answer is like no money or not much money, then I ask the question, if you are not investing in your business, then do you think an unknown person will come and invest? And the person is, hmm, I did not give, I did not give it a shot. So people are like asking for money. Like, like it's, it's there. Yes, money is there. But people have to see how much energy, how much risks you have taken for your own idea. It's your baby. You have to feed it. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm going to share one, one amazing thing with you. You have babies. I'm not sure how many of you have babies. I have babies. And if my baby need food, do you think that I'll be asking for food from my neighbors without arranging food for myself? No, not at all. Then why do we do this the same stuff with when I have a business? You know why? Why do we do it? Anybody can answer. Shipu. I'm not sure if you can be like unmuted. I'm not sure. I'm so yeah, sorry. She is pretty much active. Shipu, go ahead. Okay, all right. Talk. I really just loved it. The conversation so much. Jeevan Ji has uh, given this reference. I really just loved it because I have gone through. I am just traveling through. Although I'm not well, but still I'm attending. So it is just that exactly the thought, what is going and what I speak. The uh, I think, uh, what is the guy name on the screen? The speaker? Yeah, Farooq. Farooq. Yeah, Farooq is it is yes. stating the same. So I am really amazed, amazed, amazed. Okay. Yeah. So what was the question, Farooq? Yeah, the question was, uh, <laughs> actually, I forgot the question. Feeding baby and all. Use, uh, <laughs> yes, all right. The question was, you know, uh, uh, people, feed pe people feed their babies without asking their neighbors. They do everything they, they can. But when it talks, when they talk about business, they go for funding outside. Why? Uh, they think that they can give it a try if it works then it's okay they are not losing anything I think so this happens actually in the people mind those who are not exactly those who are just listening and just give test and trial they are not willing to do at their own this is the fact and most of the people fail because of this because they don't desire inside from years and years and if you're not traveling through hardship to your boat, you are never going to win. You will be just in the queue, but not going to crack your own thought process. This is truth. You have to go through inside. You have to crack it. Everything. You are Beautiful. talking about the same. Beautiful, yes. Uh, the, the answer is absolutely the same. People ask for funding from the neighbors. Because they don't love the, the, the thing which they call their business. It's not their business. They're just giving it a try. And they are not ready to take that risk. If you love your baby, honestly, you will not knock the doors of the neighbors. You will do everything what it takes to arrange food for your baby. And this thing, venture capital, capitalists know. And right now, we are running, Alhamdulillah, a very nice business, business, decent business. You know, people come to me, Farooq, you want to invest? I say, no, I'm not ready yet. And literally, I'm not ready. I have got like a couple of angel investment rounds and all rounds from, you guessed it right, it's from friends and family, not from the, from the outside. So you people ask for funding from other people because it's, it's still passion is missing. 
Beautiful. Thank you. I think that's that's a really good answer. People look for funding. The people who are not really confident yet, if they have really want to make it, they will make it. Then they'll go for funding. Our they fund the, the people who are looking for good business and investment. They will come to you. Great. Thank you so much. The final question you said about something about your secret five principle for sales. We want to know a little bit more about your sales strategies. How you you know how do you plan that connections and sees and how does it work can you please elaborate and you know go ahead. right so fasel uh, this round is very interactive round uh, is it okay if we uh, people who are here can follow the protocols especially people who are on the video i'm just now just addressing to the people who are on the video because i'm going to ask some questions so okay. if somebody is there he wants to participate in this interactive session he can switch on the video number 1 secondly please. can you all follow the protocols of being silent because if it's noisy it's not going to be nice and last request from fasel if you can unmute these people is it possible absolutely i can do that you just tell me then or you can raise the uh, hand yeah raise your raise your hands and i think i think fasel will be unmuting you yeah so friends please come on video few of them if you can if the situation allow please come on video i mean that's a great opportunity you're getting how to crack the sales you know how to really make money through selling or get the secret of sales yeah so i can see rajiv sir you know uh, nidhi yeah said alavi uh, vishna vishnadan sir prashanti and harinder sir okay so i'll unmute five people yeah yeah together no. now or later all all people should be unmuted this is this is okay. actually this happens this happens in in person but we are okay. not in person so yeah yeah so Yeah, Anjali, I've unmuted. Midun, unmuted. Okay, go ahead, uh, Rajiv sir. Okay, go ahead, Farooq. Right. So, guys, uh, uh, I'm going to ask some questions. If there is a background noise, I think you should be on mute. Maybe we can unmute some other guys. Okay. Yeah. All right. Unmute. Please, res please respect the protocol. Meanwhile, for this five minutes, it's very important. I, I literally like sometimes I. This is very difficult. I understand that because this is not in person session. So, please be on mute. Meanwhile, I'll ask some questions. so we are talking about sales you know 99% people do sales wrong first thing i got like many messages on mailing me farooq hi farooq my name is this and there is a one big paragraph followed by by this hi do you read it i don't read it i'm not sure how many people read it right because they are missing the first steps but same even 10 times longer paragraph will be sent by your mom you will read it why why is that first of all the question is what is sales so anybody uh, i'll 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 just i'll just ask the name if you can tell me in one word or two words or in one sentence anjali what do you think what is sales um you are word, word, um, no? i don't know okay all right i don't know prashanti yeah prashanti connection connections nice anybody else yes shipu it is uh, like building relations and uh, you have to uh, build a good relations at first and uh -huh. giving them value i i i hear, i hear a background noise i'm so sorry guys please follow the protocols if there is a background noise please mute yourself i respect i respect your your being unmuted but please follow the protocol as well thank you yes anybody else yeah go ahead sandeep you can unmute sandeep yes yeah uh, it is like uh, showing value in uh, what you are asking others to invest in for right good so guys if you search on google you you go on different website sales is a word which is very 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 much definitely def defined and you know when i was building my own company i was uh, wanted to become a sales arm i was registering my company on google and i was searching for the category marketing pr all right interior technology where is sales sales is not there at all i went to facebook there is no category of sales you go any business any anywhere sales is not there even there is no book on sales so sales is something which we misunderstand mostly so what is sales guys i ask you like five questions i'm going to ask fasel is it okay if we exceed like some time 
Yeah, can yeah, yeah. Not all on. We have okay. we have another thirty minutes to end the session. I think what we can do, you can ask people to put in the chat box, and I will read. Otherwise, I think right. maybe a little bit challenge. You ask the question, let the people put in the chat box. I will read. So now I can I see. So. Varun yeah. says, sales means creating a push for product or service. Shipu says, building relationship, exchanging value, money is a byproduct. Oh, great. Yeah. So what else, friends? You can put in the chat box. What is sales means to you? What is sales means to you? Whatever it is. So you can put in the chat box what sales means to you. And I'll read it out loud. So just to make sure you know the technology works well and help not others get get challenges. Yeah. So who else want to say something about the sales? What is sales for you? Your product or a service? You know how do you sell or something is coming from Harjinder. I see some Harjinder is also typing. Yeah. You are you are you are sending something? Okay, I'll unmute him. So probably I hope you don't have any background noise. You can unmute and say it. Yeah. Please. What I wanted to say is if we talk about sales, and it can be in any domain, any domain, even including education, teaching, and other thing, any domain it can be there. It is trying to basically is to create a temptation in the other side. So that they have a desire, strong desire to acquire it. Wonderful, Arjunjadri, amazing, amazing, amazing definition. This is this is really amazing. So yeah. I'll be That's... putting the same thing into into a very concise note. Thank you so much for the feedback, uh, guys. I'm I'm going to ask like five questions. Uh, you don't need to answer yes or no. Just it, it will give you an idea. Uh, if you want to. Sell your website if you are a web developer. You are looking for a web developer. You give it to the money to the web developer. He develops a website for you. He did the sale. Everybody will say yes. He did the sale, right? Secondly, if you want, if you are looking for a job, you go to an interview and the employer hires you. Is it sales? Yes. You have sold your skills or trust or whatever it is. You have made made him believe you, and he has appointed you on a salary. But right now we are only working on money model. Third question: If you propose your girlfriend or, or a boyfriend for a marriage and she or he accepts, is it sales? Whoever says it's sales, please raise your hand. Right. So here it's it's not about it's not about money. It's about barter. You will fulfill some responsibilities as a male, and she will. like in in return she will help you with some other stuff as well so this is this is a barter system now we are not talking about money now we are talking about barter right now this question is very hard you are sitting in your in your room and you ask your sibling to bring you a glass of water and he or she brings is it sales this is where the paradigm of sales changes Guys, this these five questions are going to change your definition about sales and your life about sales forever. If somebody you ask somebody to do something and he does it, this is also sales. Last question: You call somebody and he picks up, picks it up. He responds you. Is it sales? To to just save the time. Yes, it's sales as well. So in all of these things, one thing is common. in all of these things there is one thing which is common which was mentioned by harjinder ji to create a desire to comply what you say is sales so in short if you write it somewhere sales is complying or compliance if anybody complies you you say something and you say yes sales is done sales is done whenever whenever anybody complied positively and if we complied negatively sales happened yes but in the other side he instead of you selling something he still sold you because you he, you did not agree to it so in every single communication guys this is very important in every single communication happening in this world sales is happening sometimes from a to b and sometimes from b to a now how to make sure that this sales happen from your side to the other side whenever you say something somebody comply to it harjinder ji mentioned it 
you have to create a desire it has a big journey now it's it's like a lot of principles like 14 principles are there i'll talk no i'll not talk about those 17 principles maybe some other time we'll if we can arrange some i love in person sessions so maybe we can arrange some in person sessions uh sales has five steps uh and this is this is something which uh, i'll be sharing and it is going to end the session today five steps whenever you miss this five, any of these five steps you miss the sales right whenever you miss these five steps you miss the sales and we call it five c's five c's of sales first c whenever you want to sell something you do something at first what is that shipu ji can you answer what is the first thing you do when you want to sell something farooq or fazal please uh, repeat the question sorry for this the question is the question is if you want to sell something what would you do for the first as a first step what do you do product should be ready what okay ready, ready right should have maybe clarity can, maybe, maybe you can maybe you can post the answers in the chat maybe yes maybe you can post the answers in, in the chat yes ah uh, yes the very first thing is uh, uh, communication the presentation and the details whatever you are sharing whatever it is tiny or big whatever you are sharing it must be in practical with proofs so that the person can relate to the things and they can access the details if you are not available that must be right. public right okay harjinadri what is your thought maybe you can you can write it somewhere as well i've sent you a prompt here in the no yeah, what i'm saying is it should be a sellable product means there is a need there is a requirement of that that product you should have and then you should target the type of customers right this is this is something which is in the back end i'll i'll make it i'll make it quick the first thing everybody does in this world to sell something he connects you call somebody you send email to somebody you phone somebody you talk to somebody so you try to connect now connection has different ways right we it's another journey it's another discussion so first step you do is you you connect you make a connection connection can be through email through call through any other media right you build a connection and in that connection you are trying to communicate right so first thing that happens is connection we represent that connections with thumb i'll come to that that why it's thumb i'll come to that second question second c what is the second c if for example if i give you like 100 developers web developers and you choose one on what basis you will choose one developer from 100 please anybody can can post in the chat on what basis you will choose one web developer from 100 of the list of 100 what is that one thing compatibility the common things the thought process you know everything should match yes we call it we call it in simple word we call it credibility trust right if you don't trust that person you don't you don't pay your money so first of all connection has to be made second thing there has to be a level of credibility you know that yes if i give this person something he will be able to deliver right so if and now guys please note sales has not started yet real selling these are just the base pillars your building so when i don't read the message on linkedin why because i'm not connected really connected to that guy i don't i'm i'm not sure if he's credible or not i'm not read, reading at all his message third thing is very important so first you have to build that connection this is the first pillar focus on connections very much it's very important second is not only connections you are connected maybe you are hugging that guy fine good but you should ask yourself a question does this guy trust me yes or no clearly black and white you have connected wonderful job job is done do you that guy trust you yes then sales actually starts and the third c is the most important i call it like middle finger i call it communication you call it you communicate about the product you communicate about the product but what is happening now we meet somebody on linkedin we meet somebody in networking exchanging cards talking about product service and all that you are not 
making that connection strong you are not building the trust right how to build that trust this is another journey how to build that connection this is another entire chapter we can talk about for maybe for a day third thing is communication you have to communicate clearly and effectively and in marketing i have learned one thing you you please write it down this is very important in marketing less is more this is new world's formula less is more if somebody is saying me hi farooq how you are doing or hi farooq i make apps probably i'll read that message but if somebody is sending me this much paragraph probably i will not read it right fourth now you you believe that connection is made this guy trusts you you have communicated about your product and service fourth thing is cost now you talk about the cost and i give you one secret don't talk about the cost by yourself let the other people other person ask you the cost if you not if he is not asking the cost if it means that he, you did not create what harjinder ji said you did not create a desire to use your service right and the final is every sales person die for it anybody can guess what is the last c every person in the world, in the sales dies for it what is this last c closing who said that wow anjali nice closing last c is closing you have to close the deal now this is another discussion how to close a deal so guys we just covered like couple of things uh this is like i have like 43 secrets of sales secrets of sales as well this is an entire big world we cannot grab it in, in one session but i loved being here thank you all harjinder ji uh, shipu sandeep fasal prashanti daga nidhi anjali uh, medhun rajiv was there sarat and and uh, vishwatan vishwatan is also there so every person uh, thank you so much for being here i know a lot of people are there as well but uh, i could see these faces right now so it was really nice session with you thank you farooq for uh, you know creating this beautiful conversations and i think uh, no i think a lot of people got at least a glimpse of fire today to start on business or the people who are st struggling to create a success in their business they got a restarting power today and definitely it is also fueling me to sustain in this entrepreneurship journey and your five pillars of you know connecting credibility communication and closer so this is incredible i think uh, you know i really want to invite you one more time to elaborate and only one topic sales okay and i'm i'm sure that will give a lot of power to a lot of people to create an incredible journey of entrepreneurship um, for their future so thank you so much farooq for joining thank you faisal thank you elaborate yeah yeah maybe thank we can you. we can if if possible uh, faisal uh, why don't you like do some session in person and uh, i will maybe i invite a lot of people as well uh, wow so. while do that yeah let's have a conversation tomorrow day after tomorrow yeah. let's right. have a call with prashanti and my team and you know i'll be happy to do that yeah great thank you right so, thank you thank you so much everybody i love being here i love the new faces all and i i just want for a big clap for everybody here so i'm i'm just clapping please if you you can join me for this journey and thank you so much yeah i loved you all would love to see you again thank you thank you so much thank you so much and prashanti would you like to say a word of thanks then maybe we could not stop uh people for any any other things yeah go ahead wow that was you know i think um in college 